Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Um, some people have been asking if they can see Riley the puppy, uh, my puppy that I've had. He's nearly eight months now. Uh, he's not been in a video for a while, so here he is here. Say hello, people. Hello, people. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's getting big and he wants to play and he's a real handful, but he's great fun. So say hello, Riley. Hello. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's little Riley. Not so little now. Uh, I don't think he'll get much bigger, um, but um, yeah, he's just a bundle of fun. Hello, welcome to Kevy Shaves. It's nice to see you. It's nice to be back here shaving again. Today's shave, starting with Parasso White Pre-Shave, which I have already rubbed in just to save some time. Um, how you all doing? It's uh, the middle of the week, which is Wednesday. <laughs> uh, I hope you're having a good week and I hope you're having some good shaves. The razor for today is Gillette Fat Boy. This is a, the date code on this is D3, which is a, there's a little D on that side and a 3 on that side, which makes it a 1958 and it's the third quarter. Uh, this is an adjustable razor. As you can see, the numbers there go from one to nine. I'm having on setting seven. Uh, you twist the bottom to open it, and inside that I have a Gillette seven o'clock yellow, Gillette seven o'clock sharp edge, um, otherwise known as a Gillette seven o'clock yellow. You just twist the bottom of the razor, and there's a final little quarter turn that locks everything in place. Um, that just stops this opening up. Yeah, this is in great condition for the year 1958. Still shaving, still doing a great job. I'll put that in the water to get some heat into the blade. Oh, and I must tell you, for the um, those that wanted me to use blades a little bit longer, the Gillette 7 o'clock yellow, uh, the number of uses this shave is fourth shave on a blade. As you know, I usually use a blade three times then it gets binned in the blade bank, the used blade bank, but people saying you get more shaves out of a blade so I'm listening to you guys and I'm going to give it a go. Uh, fourth shave on that blade so fingers crossed it goes well. The soap for today is, I've been after this for a while, Katie's Bubbles La Terra Verte. This is a lovely French sanding soap, but it's actually made in uh, in Forked River, New Jersey. Yeah, I've been after this for a long time. I got sent I got sent a sample of this tiny, tiny little sample a long, long time ago, almost when I first started wet shaving, uh, and I've loved the scent since. But I haven't been able to find this. Uh, well, you can get it online, but I just didn't want to send to the states. So it came up on a buy sell trade page. Uh, for a good price and I bought it. Oh, I love the scent. And this is the new formulation, uh, the latest formulation from Chris Cullen. Uh, comes in this nice tub. Uh, there it is there. I just want to speak French when I see that. It is a beautiful soap. It will uh, serve me well, I'm sure. Um, yeah, oak moss, sandalwood and patchouli. And to me it smells like well, I'll get into it when I shave, when I start the shave. I'm not going to bloom it, anything like that, just go for it as it is. The brush, carrying on with the IC shaving brush, Ian Crichton, IC shaving brushes with the Tuxedo Knot synthetic brush, wonderful, wonderful brush. Uh, again, I'll put the link to his Instagram page and you can go and check out the brushes that he has made recently. Very good price on these. Yeah, excellent. Okay, let's get the shave going. I'm just soaking the brush, giving it a little squeeze, getting the soap, and lathering, lathering, lathering. 
Yeah, I was saying about the scent of this. Um, you get leather scented soaps, and to me, this kind of reminds me a little bit of um, suede. Or suede, you know how you get like a, the inside of leather. Or what, is, what, is, what is suede? I don't know. Is it the, it's some kind of animal hide, isn't it? They used to get like suede jackets and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it kind of reminds me a little bit of that, but it's a nice, it's a nice, a nice manly scent. Uh, and this, it looks like I've got a good load in the brush there. Okay, let's just wet the face a little. I do have the Brasso white, which you can probably see. Pre-shave on, but yeah, look at that little cut from the last shave. Oh, this brush, this soap. And I was watching the uh, Suffolk shaver today. Steve Keir, and he has a new brush, which I won't tell you about, but um, go and watch his latest video and you'll, you'll find out what it is. It's very nice. Yeah, you must be happy with that brush. I'm just dipping the tips a little bit. Lovely backbone in this tuxedo knot. soap and it's uh, very good okay and as you know well maybe you don't Katie's Bubbles is a fantastic performing soap so I shouldn't have any issues with that okay the blade is nice and hot heated up setting 7 to start with on the fat boy 1958 and I'm going to start on this side. I usually start on this side, but hey, let's mix it up. It's midweek. Oh, that soap. The slickness. It's a... Uh, la terre verte. Ooh la la. C'est magnifique. What's happened, Kevy? It's only uh, Wednesday. It's not even near the weekend yet, and you're um, you're rambling. Nice. Yeah, this razor is a uh, fantastic. And someone commented on my last video, or the video before, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, their YouTube username is Spooked Bones, and they suggested, it was a suggestion, so I'm going to try it. Why don't you leave your little trouble spot to the last on every pass, to just to let the soap kind of sink into the beard and just, just so it's on the skin. Just do it last. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to leave it to last. Kevy's little trouble spot wasn't happy. He'd learned that Kevy was leaving him to last in every pass. He was furious. He said to Kevy, I'll get you back for this, Kevy. I know. I'm just excited because I've got the soap and uh, the brush and the razor and the blade on its fourth use. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, 
and shaving here just at my earlobe with these old um, vintage Gillettes as you can see the blade does hang out a little bit at the sides as you can see there so just be careful there you go a little trouble spot I'm shaving you now thank you Kevy that's okay beautiful oh the slickness from that is uh, amazing the residual slickness let me rinse I'll come back rinsed off nicely back for pass number two with the IC shaving brushes <laughs> And La Terre Verte, uh, <clears throat> Dave C, am I saying that correctly? Dave is um, <clears throat> my linguist. Um, if, I'm saying some, if I'm saying something wrong in French, uh, Dave will tell me. Dave C. Oh, this brush for painting on is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that. Genius. Hello? Any new viewers? Any new subscribers? If you've just subscribed to my channel. Hello. Welcome to the Kevy Shaves Nut House. <clears throat> and hello to all my regular viewers, my regular subscribers, the people that comment. Thank you very much because you know who you are, right? Second pass across the growth. I've left this on seven. And this razor for a uh, been shaving faces for almost 50 years and maybe legs and maybe other parts of the body enough <laughs> yeah um, and it's still performing absolutely beautifully Yeah, this soap, as I was saying earlier, or just a second ago, Dave, uh, Dave will correct me if I'm saying something wrong. And I've just written it down here. La Terre Verte, pretty good, yeah, uh, means green earth. That's what it translates as. I'm just trying to be careful here that I don't catch this little cut. From the last shave. Okay, a little trouble spot. There you go. Yeah, spook bones. Nice tip. Yeah, I was watching a few videos today. Suffolk Shaver, Paul H. Put out, uh, he took the, the Van Dyke off today. Boo! Let's campaign to get the Van Dyke back. Second pass done. Excellent. Just let me rinse and I will come back for pass number two. That's that rinsed off. Back for pass number three with the wonderful. I see shaving brushes, brush. Yeah, I was watching some videos and I was watching uh, Stay Smooth, Stay Smooth Shaving. And uh, he used to make YouTube videos, but he made a video saying, 
he's stopping making shaving videos because um, he's uh, started shaving in the shower. And there's uh, there's no way it's getting filmed in the shower, which is fair enough. But um, yeah, anyone that makes uh, YouTube videos, any kind of YouTube video, shaving videos, whether it be reviewing food, anything like that, anything really, it does take a bit of time to get things set up, um, edit it, edit all the video, stuff like that. So um, anyone that makes YouTube videos, I doth my cap to you, my imaginary cap. I would take my wig off, but it's glued. It's glued on. Yeah, well, okay, you are in the mood today. <laughs> I need to get a haircut, actually. It's like a, it's like a mop. Okay, pass number three with the fat boy against the grain or the growth. This soap, fantastic. And listen to that feedback from that razor. I've left it on seven. I know I always say it's an adjustable, use it as an adjustable, but um, I'm enjoying it, so. And um, I'm quite surprised, pleasantly surprised, that this Gillette 7 o'clock yellow on its fourth use, Kevy Shave's fourth use, is performing wonderfully well. Yeah, very nice. So, what products are you waiting on? Razors, blades, soaps, balms, aftershaves. I'm not going to go against the grain here. Just on this little spot. I've learnt my lesson in the past. I will hear. Yeah, this is a lovely slick soap. I'm just wet. Yeah, you can feel the slickness there. The residual slickness is incredible from all Katie's bubble soaps. Very nice. Three passes done. Wow. A couple of little pickups to do. I'll just do them now. I'm just dipping the tips of the brush there just to get a little bit more moisture, which this soap can easily take. Feels nice. Yeah, so there's just a little bit here. Nice, that's got it. There's usually a little bit down here. And on my chinny chin. Is always up here. Oh, you can really hear that. That feels great. I know this other. 
Quick feel about. Yeah. Very good. Okay. I'm not sure how much soaps are going to be left in this. Not much. Look at that. Still enough though to rub it into my face. I'm just going to rub this in. I've rinse off with hot water, cold water, and I'll see you for the post shave in a few minutes. La terre verte. Merci beaucoup. And there we have it, ladies and gents. Lovely, lovely shave. Okay, post shave. No witch hazel today. Uh, I'm sticking with the Nivea Men Two Phase Aftershave Lotion. Now this is a an aftershave lotion on the bottom here, which you can see is the clear colour, and this on the top, this blue, is a kind of like a, a a gel, an aftershave gel, stroke balm type thing. Um, and what you do, you shake the bottle up to mix them. Like this, this is uh, quite new out. I don't know if it's available in, it's certainly available in the UK and most of the big supermarkets. And you can see that mixes the both of them. Um, take the top off, it has a little restrictor flow, which you can see there. And the uh, last time I used this, in the last shave, that was the first time I'd used it, the face feel from it was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have much of a smell. A little bit like Skin Bracer, if anyone's familiar with that. But I think it's, um, it must be the balm that's in it. The gel type thing. But it feels fantastic. There's a little bit of menthol in it too. It just feels really, really nice. And it does look quite oily and greasy, but it soaks into your skin pretty quick. And it feels really nice. Yeah, I just wanted to try this on its own without any witch hazel and stuff like that. But that is fantastic. Excellent shave. Yeah, look, the trouble spot isn't troubling today. Okay, that's the Nivea Men Two Phase Aftershave Lotion. And as you can see, look, it's, uh, it's settling down already. That's quite trippy actually, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Let's go over what we've used again. The start of the shave was Little Riley and Parasso White Pre-Shave, which was rubbed in before I started. Excellent. The razor today, fantastic. 1958 Gillette Fat Boy. Twist to open razor. Adjustable, I had it for three passes and the pickups on setting seven. Yeah, 1958. Twist the bottom, opens like that. And inside that, I had the Gillette seven o'clock yellow on its fourth use. That blade, four uses, and it felt absolutely lovely. Very smooth, no issues tugging. Can heavy shaves go for number five? We shall see. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, wonderful razor. The soap for today, I've waited for this. Katie's Bubbles, La Terra Verde. Fantastic. Oak moss, sandalwood and patchouli. Great performing soaps. Uh, Cushion, glide, protection, everything. Fantastic, easy to lather. Yeah, just great soaps. Katie's Bubbles are one of the top soaps out there. And this scent, La Terra Verte. Magnifique. <laughs> Kevin, can you say something else? Except, magnifique. Um, La Terra Verte. Très bien. <laughs> yeah, well, let's move on. <laughs> uh, we then rinsed off, we rubbed the, oh, the brush. The brush, let me just uh, 
Let me just rinse it out so you guys can see the tuxedo knot. I'll just give it a little squeeze. This is the brush, IC shaving brushes, Ian Crichton. Wonderful brush, synthetic 24mm tuxedo knot. Absolutely beautiful, work of art, genius. Yeah, excellent. As I say, I'll put the link to Ian's Instagram page and you can have a look at the rest of the brushes he has for sale because some of them are beautiful. Then rinsed off hot water, cold water uh, and then applied some of the Nivea Men two-phase aftershave lotion and as you can see look it's, uh, it's separated again. This is an excellent product, I really like it. My face feels so smooth at the moment, really really nice. To finish it off, um, these is, I'm going to use an EDT and these particular EDTs from this uh, store, which is, you can get them, the stores are available worldwide I think. Uh, the store's called Zara uh, and it's this Zara Vibrant Leather. Classic bottle. Yeah, these are getting uh, from the frag heads that do the, the YouTube reviews. These Zara EDTs are getting fantastic reviews and they're brilliant value for money. This bottle cost me £20 uh, UK. There are others. I bought another couple which were, I think one was £12 and the other was £10. But this one, Vibrant Leather, is a clone of Creed Aventus. Uh, I've worn this twice and both times I wore it. Uh, I got really good compliments from men and women just saying that was a, a really nice smell. So I'm just going to apply some of this. Yeah, it has, um, it does smell like Creed Aventus. I wouldn't say it's a clone, but it's a, it's a nice scent and it lasts. It has nice uh, pineapple top notes. Yeah, it's just very nice. It's not very leathery, although it's called Vibrant Leather. You don't get much of it. It's a very subtle leather scent, which is why I wanted to use it with the La Terra Verte, because I thought that smelt a little bit like suede. Suede, leather, yeah. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the comments. Please keep them coming. Please like the videos, subscribe, uh, share them. Uh, yeah, just get the word out there. Um, more people know about this way of shaving, the better. Okay, have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. That smells delightful. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.